big pimping shot right here. You want be Ooh, man, you saw that shit? Look at that shit. Okay, children, our first lesson for the day is how to be the My responsibility is now to do everything. his own 50 million dollar record company he even won a grammy arthel neville introduces us to jay-z jay-z aka jigga real name sean carter born marcy projects brooklyn new york former drug dealer now international rap star and ceo of rockefeller records distinguishing features platinum jewelry he don't come in here on no way. I got money, I'm all that, you know what I mean? He's cool about it. You understand? He's talking about Jay-Z, a kid born into a tough neighborhood. He sold drugs. He was in the line of fire. He even accidentally shot his brother. It's an unlikely beginning to an American success story. He was the godfather. He was the big guy in the back, you know, selling to the small guys. For me, it was, it, I didn't see any way out. It was like a hopeless situation. The only people that I've seen that had any type of success and was hustlers. Was rap your ticket out of the ghetto? Yeah, definitely. I had people, you know, coming at me. They used to be like, come on, you, you have a talent and you let me go to waste. What's up? And he didn't. Now, Jay-Z's not only selling records by the millions, but he has created an empire. He owns his own label, Rockefeller, which has become the road to riches to a number of other young inner-city rappers. If I could get tickets to a Jay-Z concert, I'd pay a zillion dollars. All the guys in my grade, definitely, they love Jay-Z. You're selling records, you're making films, starting a clothing line, um, you're doing it all, building an empire. Why is it so important for you to be an entrepreneur? Our kids, they don't have those, they don't have a legacy, so, you know, they don't have those businesses that they can just, you know, step into. We want to put together something real special that, like, our kids and our kids' kids know I have a place, I have something for me at Rockefeller, you know. Jay-Z didn't go to school to get an MBA, but he graduated from the school of hard knocks, the streets. How old were you when you started selling drugs? I can't say. I don't like the way you're saying that. So let's say hustling. That sounds such a harsh way to put it. But it is harsh. Like, it's, it's, it's like you can do things two different ways. Right? You can do things with malice, you know, and all you could do them, you can do them with a good heart. Jay-Z, how do you sell drugs to kids with a good heart? Sometimes you're placed in situations of hopelessness and you're placed in situations where you have no other way out but what, what people would deem wrong, but you're doing them with good intentions. But I still say if you sell well, I, a piece of crack to anybody, old, young, whatever, you know what happens to their life after that. Right. But it's just like, yeah, it's, it's, it's really, it's, it's, no, it's, no, it's no justifying that. He represents the masses, the majority of people that um, have struggled and felt pain and tried to make the situation better. And I think he represents that. I didn't help you, I just made things worse. Jay-Z definitely bringing the gangster hip-hop to a new level. He's telling you how he feels about it. I'm the focal point like Biggie in his front. Jay-Z also feels bad about the death of his friend since high school, Biggie Smalls. Biggie was gunned down at the age of 27. His murder remains unsolved. You know, for it to all be taken away from us, I don't feel he deserved that. Do you ever think that could happen to you? Well, if it could happen to someone like that, then definitely could happen to me. How close have you come to death? I was shot at before. It was really close, like the distance between me and the cameraman right there. It was a divine intervention right there. Wow. Waking up every day like I can't, I can't do this forever. Like how, how long can I do this? Just say they crept with mine, slept with mine. She said, I ain't deaf, no fly. 
It didn't take Jay-Z long to work things out. He moved his life from outside on the streets to inside studios like this one. He has since recorded three albums and has produced a string of records with his new artists. Does it ever frustrate you that some people don't recognize rapping as a talent? Yeah, because it's definitely something that anybody just can't do. To be able to go on so long, so fast, and then change the flow, not lose rhythm. I've been around this block too many times, rock too many rounds. The best rappers are like the people that bring you closest to the experience. It's the hard knock life for us. Jay-Z could take a classic American chestnut, Annie, and turn it into a ghetto anthem. Jay-Z coming tomorrow, he come tomorrow, he'll see very often. Come to see the brothers, you know what I mean? Us. Brothers. Brothers, this is the ghetto, you know what I mean? That's why I try to get back as much as I could. You know, so they can see that and they can see, oh, yeah, yeah, that's the, I used to live next door to him. He owns his own company now. Look at what he's doing. You know, I can obtain these type of things and I can do this. And, you know, that that's my whole, that's the whole reason I do it. I'm a genius. <laughs> Please, leave me. Leave me. <laughs> Gonna be alright